Just stop by to thank you for letting me borrow your daring do books. I love them. Why don't you get to daring do and the riddle of the Sphinx? This is actually my second time through. I read them all, from daring do in the sapphire statue to daring do in the fallen idol. Fallen idol? That's not in the series. Oh, it just came out last week. Maybe that's why you haven't heard of it? No way, Daring Do's biggest fan, me, would miss a book coming out. Besides, A.K. Yearling always sends me a copy. Well, I'm happy to let you borrow mine until yours arrives. The true story of the thieving fraud known as Daring Do? What? Why would A.K. Yearling write that about herself? Oh, it looks like she didn't. This book says it's by Groom QQ Martingale. Who? Well, I guess he's a new writer. A bad one? The only thing worse than Daring Do's destruction of temples is her cruelty to the mild-mannered Dr. Cavaleron? It was written from his point of view. I figured it was an artistic choice. More like a disaster! Listen, Daring Do isn't just a fictional character from over-the-top adventure stories. I've met her, and she is a real live pony! That's supposed to be a secret! Ah, we are the only ones who know Daring Do is really a yearling in disguise. But if other ponies read this book, how long will it take them to figure that out? We have to go warn her! Fluttershy! Hmm? Oh, sorry. My little pony, my little pony. Could be until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Hey, Kate Yearling is signing all her books at the bookstore today. We can warn her about what's going on! Don't you think you should read Martingale's book first? Just to hear both sides of the story? Uh, why? The only true thing in that pack of lies is that Daring Do is real! There's also a lot of insight into Dr. Caballeron's life choices. Did you know he's actually a history professor and amateur bird watcher? Are you serious right now? A random writer trashes our friend and exposes her secret, and you want to talk about birds? Also spider cruelty. What? You have to admit, Daring Do wrecks a lot of spider webs in her adventures. In order to save precious artifacts from the bad guy, who you seem to have forgotten is Dr. Cavaleron. Are you sure you read the same series I did? Well. At least A.K. Yearling's true fans know Martingale's book is bogus. I'm not sure those are all fans. Why didn't your book say Daring Do is real? This changes everything! And why do you only write about her good side? Is she bribing you? On page 531, it says Daring Do kicks puppies! She does? What? No! Look, are any of you here for my actual book signing? Uh, no, no. Uh-uh. Frankly, I don't even know how you could call it fiction if it's all real. Uh, you're as much of a fake as Daring Do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess we're a little late to warn you about the new book, huh? <sighs> I always feared that someday every pony would learn Daring Do was real. But why? Aren't you proud of your adventures? Of course, but I'm not in it for the fame. The stories just seem too good to keep to myself. I wish I knew who this Martingale author was and why he's determined to ruin my character and me. Maybe we can ask him. No way! He's doing a signing across the street? You'd better go without me. I can't risk the chance Martingale might recognize me as Daring Do. Sorry. Uh, excuse us. <gasps> That's not Martingale. It's Dr. Caballero in disguise. Now it all makes sense. Daring Do's arch nemesis created a fake author self so he can write books that make him sound like a hero. Who does that? 
Uh, it's a yearling? This is totally different. Well, well, well. Up to your old tricks again, huh? Just like in Somnambula. Spreading lies to make daring do look bad. Would you sign our book? I am just a simple author. Telling it like it is. Uh, who should I make it out to? Fluttershy with two T's. We know who you really are. And unless you want us to tell all of them, you'd better answer some questions. I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. <laughs> oh. But please, take a free copy of my book on your way out. Yeah! We aren't gonna let you get away with this, Caballeron. Get away with what? I'm merely telling my side of the story. You mean lying? You think everything in A.K. Yearling's books are true? Yearling do in the Quetzal's Quest, she states that the Fangthorn flowers are red. In fact, they are blue. It's true. They are. <laughs> that sounds like more of an editor's mistake. Still, if that is wrong, is it not possible that other bigger things are too? Take a look. It's in my book. But I don't have to take your word for it. Come on, Fluttershy. <sighs> something wrong? It is terrible being misunderstood. It is true, in the past I have not been as nice to Daring Do as I should, but I have my reasons. Want to talk about what happened? My team and I were only ever interested in researching artifacts and taking them to our museum where other ponies could study them. But Daring Do always seemed to get there first with our own plans offered to team up with her, but she refused. She had her own ideas of where the treasures belong. Hearing Dew did have a lot of artifacts on her shelves at home, but didn't you try to sell them to the highest bidder? Only because I had to, since Daring Dew kept taking our artifacts but the museum closed. We were desperate for money to keep it open. She does destroy a lot of ancient sites, not to mention the homes of the animals that live there. And I felt it was my duty to tell the world. Thank you for listening and understanding, Ms... Fluttershy, two T's. And I am Dr. Caballero. Martingale is merely a nom de plume to build my brand. You know, my team could use an insightful Pegasus like you, Fluttershy. Have you ever thought of being an adventurer? Who, me? Finally! What took you so long? I decided to find out which author is really telling the truth. So I joined Dr. C's Tenochtitlan expedition. Say what? So Daring Do doesn't kick puppies? That was one time! Accidentally! AK, you have to help me! Groom QQ Martingale is really Dr. Caballero, and he has Fluttershy! The book thing was his new plan to ruin Daring Do's reputation. And he's trying to make my friend a criminal! They're off to Tenochtitlan right now! He must be after the true talisman of Tonatiu. It requires the wings of a Pegasus to retrieve it. That's gotta be why Cavalera tricked Fluttershy into joining his gang! It's up to us to stop him! Whoa. Watch where you put your hooves, everypony. We do not want to disturb the fragile jungle ecosystem. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Yes, unlike Daring Do, who slashes plants aside with a cruel machete. Thank you. Fool! Don't you know that's poison? I don't want you to get hurt, my friend. <laughs> but I'm hungry. Oh, I can help with that. Here. You are willing to share? Of course. That's part of the fun of having an adventure with friends. Flutter 
suicide! Run! These ferocious beasts want to eat us for dinner! That's a common misconception. Have you ever tried just talking to them? That's crazy! You are on your own! She's a goner. I can't watch. We're very sorry for coming into your territory. We're just passing through. How did you do that? Every creature likes to be listened to. You just need to take the time to understand them. You are more talented than I realized. Thanks. I'm having the best time with you all. Fluttershy must be having the worst time with Cavalaron's goons. We need to catch up to them before they reach the Truth Talisman. Why? What's so special about it? It has the power to make the pony holding it tell the truth. But Cavalaron only wants it because it's made of solid gold. He'll melt it down and use it to get rich. So if this talisman is so important, why didn't you already save it? You said only a Pegasus can get it, right? Yes, but the temple traps are far too dangerous to face without a map. And maybe even with one. Boss, how about we take the shortcut? How about you be quiet? Uh, I mean, no thank you, Biff. Let's just follow the map. Uh, I'm supposed to be Dr. C's second in command. He never listens to me. Well, keep trying. I believe in you. At last. Now we simply have to wait for the sun to reach its highest point. And our path will be revealed. Withers, don't move. There they are! We can catch them before they enter the temple. Get back, Rainbow Dash! Yeah. It's how we zodo. <laughs> Daring do, my old nemesis. You may have outsmarted my jungle cats, but you cannot escape me! We didn't see any cats! We're just here to rescue Fluttershy! It must be a coincidence that only a Pegasus can retrieve Tonatiu's treasure. And there are two of you here. could not be moved by magic, but I never realized we'd have to fly to retrieve it. Our journey has been for nothing. Don't be upset. I can get it. Oh, Fluttershy, you are too kind. But I could never ask that of you. It might be dangerous. I want to do it for all of you, my new friends, and to protect a historical treasure.
understand. My friends are researchers. They only want to study the talisman and keep it safe in a museum. Right, Dr. C? Uh, no. <gasps> but, but you said now that he's holding Tonatiu's talisman, he has to tell the truth. Admit it, Cavaleron. You're only pretending to like Fluttershy because she has the wings you needed to steal the truth talisman. Isn't that right? No! I admit that was the original reason, but my henchponies and I have come to value your friendship and kindness. Didn't see that coming. Or that! More intruders? And you dare to steal Tonatiu's talisman? Guardian Ghouls, attack! <laughs> Can't you ask them to stop like the jungle cats? Um, excuse me, uh, guardian goyles? It's no good! They're only stone and magic, not alive! I encountered some like this in Maripur. Ah, yes! I seem to recall similar creations in Flight Kledesh. Oh! How do you get rid of them? I know they don't like bright light! There's none of that in here. Not yet! Kevalaron! Do you still have the Diamond of Lapis Lux? Yes, I mean... Yes, I mean... How did you know I stole it? Look at this. Hold it high! Well, you two make a great team. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Feel later! Now it's time to escape! If we want to get out of here, we're all going to have to work together. That's uh, actually a good idea. See? Told you he'd listen. A truce until we escape? How can we trust you? I cannot lie. Now, all together! <laughs> you again! If I wanted to play games, I would get out my pinnacle deck. This way! Rainbow Dash! I'm gonna need the deluxe spa package after this adventure. That doesn't leave this temple. I'm quitting the hench pony business to finally follow my dreams of becoming an opera star. Uh, maybe you should hold this. You cannot hide in there forever! It's a dead end! <laughs> Aoi Zoto won't give up until he catches us. I think our problem is the solution. Uh, did you forget there's a monster out there that wants to crush us? But why? No pony ever asked Aoi Zoto what his side of the story is. He must have a reason for being so upset. Or maybe he's just a bad guy. Do I need to remind you he tried to squash Daring Do like a hundred times? Me as well. I was so scared I had to change my ascot. Yes, curse this truth teller! Understanding begins with listening. Prepare to meet your doom! Um, not really. Just here to ask, why are you chasing us, Mr. Awizoto? Well, the thing is, I'm in charge of protecting this jungle. If another artifact goes missing on my watch, I'm going to be in so much trouble with the other guardian creatures. Oh, that sounds like a lot of responsibility. <laughs> it is! And those two have taken so many relics from my land, my job is on the line. So, maybe I am a little violent and ferocious. Can you blame me? The only reason I've been taking the artifacts is because I thought I was protecting them. 
I was stealing them to get rich. But I never realized you had a noble cause. I thought you were just being a monster. <sighs> I get that a lot. Maybe there is something to this whole listening to every pony thing. It doesn't always mean they're telling the truth, but every creature deserves kindness. True. And because you returned the talisman and took the time to understand me, I will let you all go. On one condition. You swear to never steal artifacts from the Tenochtitlan Basin again. I promise. promise. I'll even write that in my next book. Your next book? You mean you're actually 8K yearling? Don't tell any pony. That gives me an idea. Hey, what's going on? I thought your first co-written novel would bring out a ton of fans. We've been upstaged by a new author. And so the noble Awizotl bravely toiled day and night to protect the jungle's precious artifacts. 